What's up, Home Slice Arenos? Um, today I'm gonna be doing a video on my first page in my new sketchbook. That's right, I got a new sketchbook. That's right, I recorded me doing the first page of it. So we're gonna do a little speed lapse. I'm gonna talk about things I wanna talk about, like first page anxiety. And I'm not gonna lie, I only recorded this video so that way you can see my sick ass green hair and my new insane clown posse poster. Uh, a few things that I want to get out of the way before we start with this video. I've been getting comments on my uh, videos calling me she and stuff and I, I, I don't like hold it against you guys because my pronouns are in my bio but a lot of people don't check YouTube bios. Despite my feminine voice and appearance, I am indeed um, one of them transgenders so please use he when you refer to me. Please. I also know there's not a lot of transgender uh, YouTube creators, uh, especially in the art community, not any that I've seen anyway. So, uh, it's fine, it's fine. You know, if you call me she or a girl or whatever, that's fine, I understand. You know, I'm not gonna hold it to you, but I just thought I would say that before we start the video. It was a little weird in the last video though. I made a joke about being like a cisgender man. Um, it was a joke, obviously, but uh, People were still calling me a girl in the comment section, and it's like... Huh. Anyway, let's get on with the video. Hope you enjoy. Hello friends, and welcome to the only art channel on YouTube. Today I decided to do a speed draw of the first page in my sketchbook. I feel like as artists, we as a whole just kind of put too much emphasis on the first page of a sketchbook. You know, because it's the first thing that people see when they open your book and, you know, it can give them the wrong impression if it's a bad page. But when you really think about it, the first page might be the least important page in the book. Because, like, sorry, here you can watch me misspell a bunch of things, but, um, I think it's the least important page in the book because when you think about it people are flipping through your book they see your first page first they might make some assumptions yeah but then they see the second page and they're like oh that page is really good they see the third page they're like oh that page is really good they see the fourth page they're like that page is shit they see the fifth page they're like oh that page is really good and it goes on and on and so the last page in their mind is that first page it's not fresh in their mind you know they're not thinking oh wow this artist is bad because they didn't draw um, a fully realized portrait on the first page of their sketchbook. And they're thinking, man, page four was total dog shit, and the artist should feel bad. I'm just kidding about people paying attention to page four. It is shitty though, you should feel bad. But <laughs> jokes aside, I think that they're just gonna think of your sketchbook as a whole. And if anything, they're probably gonna think about that one page that they were like, ooh, I really like this page. You know, you ever show your sketchbook to someone and they're like, oh, I really like this page, and then like you, you're done showing them and they're like, yeah, I really like that page especially. And it makes you feel a little special inside, like there are little tiny, uh, little tiny love bugs crawling around in you. Yeah, <laughs> I love that feeling. But I like being a little silly on my first pages. I like just doing whatever. Sometimes it can be intimidating and I totally get that. And that advice that you always hear from art YouTubers about skipping the first page if it intimidates you. Honestly, that's pretty good advice because not all of us can be as goofy as I am. So it's okay to let your goofy build up for a while while you're doing the other pages and then come back to the first page later. For my first page, I decided to make a little list of the things that I wanted to improve on in this sketchbook. Because there are some things that I feel like I've been shying away from, such as like buildings in particular and cars. But I don't know what, what gave me the idea. But have you ever seen the You've Got To Be Kidding Me Arthur edits? They're hilarious and you should look them up. But um... I decided to do my first page in the style of that. I drew a bunch of ants because um, ants, unfortunately, have been getting in my room. And so I have to like be careful not to like leave one singular crumb out or else like their whole ass army will come. And I really, really hate them. Like I, I, I've gotten to the point where I'm getting so angry at ants and I'm being serious here. This is not a joke. This is legitimately a thought that crosses my mind every single time I see an ant now. I've gotten so angry that I just want to start eating them. And I don't know why. It's like this primal anger in me. I just want to start eating the ants. But I'm not going to, but 
so that's why I drew ants in the little the little text bubbles. Um, off to the side, I drew myself as Arthur. I don't really like Arthur. I think he's kind of a baby back bitch. Um, Arthur fandom, please don't dox me. But you know what? I'm a little bit of a baby back bitch as well, and I need to stop cursing because I'm on YouTube, and YouTube does not like naughty words. No, no, no. Maybe I can censor them though. I don't know. I've got to be extra careful because, in case you've noticed, um, I have a fancy smancy ads on my videos now. Yes, yes, that's true. I've fallen victim to capitalism. But back to the first page, mumbo jumbo. I really don't think you should be putting too much pressure on yourself to create the perfect first page. And honestly, when it comes to your sketchbook in general, you shouldn't put pressure on yourself to make any sketchbook page perfect. You know, I oftentimes get a lot of comments on my sketchbook tours being like, oh, your sketchbooks are perfect and I could never do this because I'm messy. When it's like, guys, if you really like look at like some of the drawings in my sketchbooks, they are messy. It's just the only reason why they look complete is because I love wasting marker ink. I mean, of course, I do have finished drawings in my sketchbook and I do have a lot of things I'm proud of, but you know, my sketchbook isn't devoid of messiness and experimentation and things that I don't like, you know? And I think that any or all of your sketchbook pages can be like that, you know? Like a sketchbook is a place to improve, not create beautiful finished pages every single time, you know? Like, it's okay if your first page is a little messy, because I don't think anybody's gonna look at your first page and go, Oh, the color palette isn't right, it's, 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 it's not homogolous, it's not, it's- What the fuck is homogolous? Did I just say homogolous? Anyway, <laughs> I, my point is, I don't think anybody's gonna be looking at your sketchbook page and judging too hard. They're probably just gonna be like, oh, pretty pictures, and then go on, you know what I'm saying? Like, that just doesn't apply for the first page either. That applies for all of your pages. Like, there's gonna be some people who like your stuff, some people who don't like your stuff, and some people who, you know, kinda like it, kinda don't, but no one's just gonna straight up just be mean to you about it, even if they don't like it. And honestly, most people, especially like non-artists, they probably will like it because they can't do that shit, you know? Like, you may not think you're the best, but you're better than a lot of people and that's something to be proud of in general, you know? I'm, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I just don't judge sketchbook pages. Maybe I'm a saint. Hey guys, let me know in the comments, do you think I'm a saint or do you think I'm just a silly guy? Let me know. We'll hold a poll, and whoever wins um, gets nothing. So yeah, let me know in the comments. So um, in case you haven't noticed, I'm using some colored line art here. Isn't that fun, colored line art? So <laughs> it, it is fun, but when I start coloring, you'll see that I actually go over a lot of it with black because I don't really plan my colors. So sometimes I end up coloring things too dark and the, uh, the line work starts blending in. and. So then I just go over it with black, and that's what happens here, so don't get too excited. There are some bits of color that are still shining through though, and so I think it was worth it in the end. Here I am drawing my dog Sissy, by the way. That's that's who I did for, for the place of Arthur's dad in the meme. I drew my dog Sissy because I love her so much, and she's the reason why ants got in my house in the first place, because she got a little bit of a... A little bit of dog food on the floor and she didn't eat it and a bunch of ants came in there and got in her food bowl and that was really fun. So here I'm having a bit of trouble doing this orange to green gradient um, in the lettering. So it takes me a lot of like different colors and a lot of blending to get it done. But I eventually get to a point where I like the result, you know. Sometimes when I do things like this I get really scared when I color because like I said I don't really plan my coloring and so sometimes it looks like things are completely messed up and I'm not going to be able to salvage them and it makes me incredibly nervous especially for like things like this where the lettering is super close together and I can't just color it in with black because then it's just going to look like a blob. So I'm glad that this worked out. If it hadn't of, I probably would have colored it in with black anyway and done the outline of the letters inside the black with a white pen. I think that would have looked okay. But um, here I am coloring my hair because in case you haven't been following my personal Instagram, my art Instagram, or my personal TikTok, 
Um, my hair was like yellow for a while. I actually just now dyed it green. <laughs> Say hello to green Monty. Um, I obviously exaggerated it a little bit because it was like a yellowy orange, but I just made it orange in this because um, it worked better with the colors that I had going on. And I wanted to, so mm, screw you. I tend to get a lot of comments on my sketchbook tour videos asking me to make a coloring tutorial. Um, the thing about that is, I assume these comments come from people who aren't familiar with my channel, and they presumably just found me using, you know, their YouTube recommendations, but, um, I do, I do have a coloring tutorial on my channel, guys. The fault with that, though, is, um, I don't always color in the same way. Like, for example, in this video, I did color um, incredibly similar to how I colored in my coloring tutorial. You know, put down a base color and then shade with, um, like, a light blue or a light green. Um, that's what I did for this. But, you know, usually, especially nowadays, I've, I experiment a lot more, you know? Like, I may do, like, something small different or I may do something big different. But generally, in my drawings, I try to experiment with, like, at least one thing. Um, and so it's kind of hard to come up with, like, consistent methods of, like, doing something. Like, it's kind of hard to think of, like, making tutorials. And a lot of people have asked me to make tutorials, but I just don't know what to make tutorials on. Because, like, I don't know. I don't really have a set process for much, you know? So it's hard to think of, like, what different steps I would put in for a tutorial. I suppose I could maybe do a couple of videos um, about like the different methods that I use. Not really a tutorial, but more so like a, hey, you could try this out if you want, see if it fits. Because I really do want to expand my content, you know? Like I like making this chill, low-key content with you guys, like sketchbook tours and what I'm doing right now, speed paints. It's really easy because I'm in college and I don't have a lot of time to put a, a butt ton of editing into videos. Um, so really simple videos like this really help, you know? At this point in the video, I am painstakingly coloring in the background. As I mentioned earlier, I love wasting marker ink. It's one of my favorite hobbies. I like filling in the background. And as you're about to see, all of my Sharpies, I have like five of them. All of them are running out of ink. So it looks like I'm gonna need to get more Sharpies soon because my favorite kind of background is a black one. It adds a lot of contrast. That's another thing. People always ask me like, how do you get your drawings so col colorful? And it's like, you know, usually it's not the color that matters, it's the contrast, you know? Like if you fill a drawing like with just bright colors, the colors ain't gonna seem as bright because there's no nothing to contrast them. There's nothing to compare them to. But um, I can get into that in another video if you guys would like. I'm really just rambling on at this point. I've got about mm, two minutes left in this video. So just let me know in the comment section what sort of like videos you'd like to see from me and my channel in the future. And if you liked this video, if there was anything I could improve upon, you know, just let me know. Um, I hope you guys like this sort of low key, just me talking to you video because I really had a lot of fun making it and I do plan on making more speed draws. So. Yeah, just let me know. I hope you enjoyed the drawing. I'm just going in and adding some final highlights and something to clean up. Um, and uh, yeah, I guess I will leave it too and see y'all in the next video. Oh, but real quick before I go, I will say that I'm sorry for the awful voiceover quality. Um, I edit and record videos with an old iPhone. So, you know, it's not the best quality, but I, I don't have that much money, so I'm trying my best, y'all. But I hope y'all like it anyway, and I hope that um, the lazy editing and the kind of bad voiceover doesn't throw you off too much. And also, I'm aware that you can hear my spit in this video. I really don't know how to fix that. I I just have a moist mouth, guys. I'm sorry. I have a really moist mouth. I'm, I'm not even close to the microphone right now, and yet when I'm listening back to my audio, I can just hear my lips smacking. And I'm so, so sorry, because I know some people are disturbed by that. So I just, I just gotta put that out there that I'm aware of it. So that way you guys can't make fun of me of it for it shit as much. Okay, whatever. Here's the final drawing. I hope you guys like it. Sorry it's in bad lighting. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. 
Uh, I love you. Bye. All right, guys, that was the video. That was the video. Hope you liked it. If you didn't like it, why? I love you. Why would you say that? You're so mean to me. Anyway, I had fun doing it. I hope you had a great time. I hope you watched all the way through. If you want to support me and my channel, go over to my Instagram page and commission me. I need money. Uh, I need to get Sissy's haircut. Come here, you little fat rat. Come here. Oh. Come here, little fat rat. Come on, guys. Have some sympathy. Look at her. She needs a haircut. She needs a haircut so bad. Please have some humanity and commission me. I'm about to be doing fall your character here commissions, which is like where I draw somewhat of like a base and I post it and I'm like, hey, if you want me to draw your character um, in this pose, then let me know. And I'm probably gonna price them at like half the prices that my commissions are currently priced at. It'll be about 15, 20 dollars for a fully colored, very cute, fall themed drawing of your OC or you or your boyfriend. Um, so yeah, if you wanna support me and my channel and help me get Sissy's haircut, send me a DM over on Instagram. And if you don't have the money right now, just wait till I get them fall your character here commissions out. And maybe it'll be a little cheaper. And if you don't have the money for that either, that is totally fine, I get it. I'm poor too, that's why I'm advertising my commissions. So <laughs> anyway, that being said, thanks for watching. Have a good day, I love you. Um, not really. Goodbye. I mean, I do love you, but, um, I love you as much as I can love a stranger on the internet.